This is your statewide newscast, Arkansas Today. Hey, welcome back, everybody. March is National Cancer Awareness Month. We're so glad to have Dr. Tyler Baber here to, to help us learn more about colon cancer and the treatments you can get right here in Arkansas. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Well, so first off, what is the prevalence of colon cancer right here in the natural state? We're seeing 16 to 1,700 new cases of colon cancer a year in this state. And we're seeing around 600 deaths from colon cancer every year in Arkansas. Tell me, what are the risk factors associated with this? Well, we know that age, anyone over age 50 is more at risk, although now they're reducing the age to 45. We know anyone with a family history of colon cancer, uh, anyone who's had ulcerative colitis, Crohn's disease, colon polyps, colon mm -hmm. cancer, any of those things put you at risk for colon cancer. So tell me about how important it is to make sure you get screens and regular screening to detect if um, mm. you, you could be potential for this cancer. Yeah. We know colon cancer is a preventable disease. If we can diagnose it early enough, we can actually remove the mm -hmm. polyp, which later becomes cancer. So. We feel like that if people are screened at a young enough age, we can actually prevent the cancer from developing. Yeah, it's now down to 45. Why has it gone down? Well, we're seeing more and more people under age 50 with colon cancer. Uh, they're saying now up to 10% of patients with colon cancer are under age uh, 50, mm -hmm. 45 to 50 age group. Mm -hmm. And for people at home who are watching, um, are there certain things that they need to be aware of um, that they should consider when, it, it, when they should sign up for screening? Sure. Well, screening applies to people that have no symptoms, people that are of average uh, risk mm -hmm. over age 50, but anyone that has any symptoms of rectal bleeding, change in bowel habits, constipation, diarrhea, abdominal pain, uh, bowel frequency, those people need to be screened even earlier than age 50 because they may have symptoms of colon cancer already. Hmm. Let's get to treatment options. What do you guys have over at CHI St. Vincent? Well, treatment of colon cancer, of course, once it's diagnosed, we like to diagnose it in the earliest stages because we feel like it's curable if we can diagnose it early enough. In fact, uh, the early stages that we have a 90% cure rate with surgery. Uh, in patients that are diagnosed later on where the cancer is actually spread, the survival rate drops to less than 30%, but we do have radiation and chemotherapy available for patients that have colon cancer diagnosed later on. A real quick diet is huge. Yeah, we think that um, diet's important, uh, cigarette smoking, alcohol intake, and uh, a diet that's high in fat, particularly animal fat, mm -hmm. leads to more colon cancer. So we're recommending a high fiber diet, low fat diet All right. to avoid colon cancer. All right, Dr. Baber, thanks so much for sharing this important sure. information with us. We appreciate it. We're gonna have a final check of your forecast when we come back.